had a dog. Ow. I was up at 6 a.m. No questions. I would stretch then. I would stay up. Typically because I had to take the dog to go pee and poop and stuff. But still, I was up. So when I was up, and I take the dog out to go pee and poop, whatever. And then when I came back in, I didn't go back to bed. I stretched. I, I stretched with myself and, well, yeah, with myself. Russ just stayed in bed, sleeping. This I am only talking about this because of his freaking alarms that he has. He has so many alarms set. So many, and I'm like, oh, your alarms are so annoying. They're extra annoying when you don't have to get out of bed and you want to sleep in. This is a mole, not a mole, a freckle. It's flat. It's never changed. Anyway, um, it's just really annoying and kind of rude, to be honest. I'm like... Look, you keep saying you want to get out of bed early. You want to be able to get out of bed. Just fucking get out of bed. The alarm's gone off. Oh, it's so hard to get out of bed. Guess what? You're not even trying. You're not even trying. I really just think he just likes to complain. You know, after being together for 15 years, yeah, pretty sure he just likes to complain. I had to do math. That's why I had to. Wasn't 15 years? 10 years. Yep, 15 years this uh, Labor Day. It'll be 15 years this Labor Day. That's how long we've been together. We've been married since 2015. Which is seven years. Okay. Eight years. It'll be eight years. Um, I had a dream that I said, irregardless. Irregardless is not a read. A read? A word. It's not a word. My mouth don't want to work. So today's grocery shopping day. That's our adventure for today. It's grocery shopping. Now, Russ did do some grocery shopping yesterday. Spent $175 on some groceries. I gotta see what he bought. Um, so I need to take a small inventory to see if there's anything I don't need to buy. And I know that he did buy uh he did buy a few things I don't need to buy. But I'm gonna make some inventory and we're gonna tell Alexa add whatever, and we'll go on the Alexa app and figure out what's on the list that we don't need anymore. So yeah, hooray. You wanna know what kind of weirds me out in grocery stores? When somebody turns a corner and they don't have a cart or anything, and they start walking really slow. Granted, they could just be looking for something, but you can see their face, and their face is not looking at the food stuffs. Their face is looking at you. It's very creepy. It's like, hey, can you not do that? Because so I want to get myself a pack of Trulies. There we go. Trulies. Hmm. I feel like punch is good. Mmm. Yeah. Punch. It's a hard seltzer. So you have to be an adult. I am an adult child. I'm an adult who can buy booze and stuff. Is it good for me? No. Do I care? No. Alright. Back to grocery shopping. All right, so I remember yesterday, after Russ got home from work, he says that I should go to Aldi 
to shop. Now, here's the thing. Aldi is Aldi's. It should be, because that's what everybody calls it. Aldi's with an S at the end. But there's no S at the end of Aldi's. What the fuck? When did that happen? Anyway, I didn't want to go there because I know where all the stuff is at Walmart. So I went to Walmart, and there was something else I was going to get from Walmart. I don't remember what it was. And it wasn't food related, so I guess that's why I didn't know. Anyway, um, just a moment. So, um, I went to Walmart because, again, I know where the stuff is at and I didn't want to mess around. Plus, I don't know what the prices, I don't shop at Aldi enough to know what the prices are. You think I was here first? Thank you. Okay, so, um, I think that's probably why most people just shop what where they know because they know what the price is already um, I don't there's no app for Aldi so I can't be like compare you know maybe there is an app for Aldi I'll have to look that up regardless I went to Walmart I spent less than 150 bucks and most of the stuff I bought was not boxed it was fresh or frozen yeah, I think I got a pretty decent amount. Nothing was on sale, unfortunately. It's Wednesday and like nothing is ever on sale on a Wednesday. And so I kind of wish that uh, I had my Fridays off again. Cause sometimes I had gotten like, le I spent less than 200 bucks in groceries and I failed the kitchen to the brim. So I did get some pasta, some, some regular boxed stuff, but most of what I bought is fresh or frozen, as I stated. Um, really the only thing fresh is Herbie food, so that's not for us. So the stuff for us is frozen. I got like, some good veggies they had. Walmart had like, it was like a buck 25 or something like that for, um, no, it was less than a dollar for a bag of like frozen, it was chopped up, uh, they called it a seasoned, seasoned vegetables. It was onion, green, red, and yellow pepper with parsley, um, you know, so that's how that went. I also got some chicken fajita, chicken strips, they're frozen. Um, simply because, you know, maybe next week instead of tacos, we'll have chicken fajitas. And that's what I got them for. And also the peppers and onions is what I got them for as well. So I think that'll be good for next week, Tuesday. Um, and also we got some mixed veggie stuff that we can make with, um, some stir fry and some mixed veggie stir fry and, and some other stuff. I got a three pound bag of chicken because I wasn't sure if Russ bought chicken. I forgot to look in inventory what he bought because if he didn't buy it, I only buy stuff that we actually need. So, or that we actually use. Uh, yeah, so I think that will be just fine. I'm turning, so that's why you're going this away. today and I didn't buy anything pre-made so we're gonna go to Taco Bell so I'll see you when I get back home okay so this is my grocery haul I know so amazing I know it's just you know groceries it's part of life I'm living my life I record my life because why not why not why not Ooh, because it's so boring and your life is stupid you know what you don't live my life so shut the fuck up all right here's what we got we got some some rigatoni pasta some rigatoni we got some 
some, I knew we had a couple boxes of regular mac and cheese, but I got mac and cheese thick and creamy, and I got uh, the shells and ch cheese, three cheese, and I got mac and cheese spirals. What's the difference? Oh, they're spirally. And then I got some some shells. These were all bought. These boxes, each one of these boxes were less than a dollar. Alright, and then I've got I bought that truly uh punch hard seltzer. And I bought some cheeses. We got some some uh a big old bag of some string cheese. Did you know mozzarella sticks are made out of string cheese? String, or rather, string cheese is made out of mozzarella. And they use mozzarella sticks. And they use string cheese to make mozzarella sticks. They use, the reason that string cheese is only mozzarella is because it's the only cheese that will be stringy. And I got some some Swiss and some extra sharp cheddar, you know, for sandwiches. Got some ketchup because, you know, I feel like condiments last the longest in your fridge. Or in your fridge, the condiments are what last the longest, is what I'm trying to say. Got a can of pineapples because I like pineapples. I'm gonna put that up right there. Okay, look how full our cabinet is. There's a difference between a cabinet and a cupboard? Probably. Anywho. Um, right, ketchup. So, like, condiments last so long. Like, so long. Super long in the refrigerator. And they just last forever and days and, and forever. And so you never have to buy them. But I ran out of ketchup. The bite chicken ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. Also got the jumbo shells, which were also less than a dollar. Um, they weren't on sale, that's just the price. And then here's the bag of flavors, you know, for your water. Oh, Ross bought some. Well, dang, I should have looked. We got extra flavors now. See, that's okay. Simply because we use a lot of the flavors. I got tater tots and pizza rolls. And that's where that fajita chicken is as well. Alright, you know what? I can't do this holding the phone. I need both hands. So I will talk to you later. Okay, everything is put away. I'm going to uh, enjoy the fruits of my labor now. Meaning that I'm going to eat my Taco Bell. Um... I will say this for anybody going anywhere with a service industry that has a service industry fast food groceries it doesn't matter where be nice that's it's not that hard so today I decided that going through the drive-through at Taco Bell I uh, will be extra nice so instead of so when they do their little opening, thank you for stopping Taco Bell, what can I get for you today? I will say thank you for being here, but in a most sincere way, not like thank you so much for being here, you know, that's insincere. Uh, I did, I said, thank you for being here, just one moment, and they paused. They said, thank you. You know what? You know what that does, that tells me that person was probably not having the best of days. And by me simply saying, thank you for being here, instead of just thanks, just a moment, hold on, you know, I went that extra few words, that extra step, just to say, thank you for being here. Thank you for being at Taco Bell. Thank you for being in the world. Just thank you for being here. And it made them feel good. So, as I was ordering, I remembered my P's and Q's. Why is it P's and Q's? Shouldn't it be P's and T's, as in please and thanks? P 
T's and Q's. Anywho, I minded my manners. And I said, may I please, instead of can I get, because if, because when you're ordering and you say, can I get blah, 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 can I get, uh, I just burped, excuse me. I said, may I please have whatever it was I ordered. Honestly, I don't remember. I know there's like a chalupa and some kind of burrito in here. And then I got this drink because it's purple. And I said, what is that purple beverage you have? What is that purple drink you have up there? May I please ask? And they said, oh, it's a uh, dragon berry tea fizz or something. I don't know. And I said, oh, that sounds delightful. I will try that in a medium, please. So that's what I got. And it is good. Like, I don't know what dragon fruit, like the actual fruit tastes like. What is a dragon berry? Is a dragon berry a fruit? I mean, it's got seeds on the inside, so that would make it not a berry. Or is berry like a general term? Let's not get into that because it makes my head hurt. Because if, if a dragon berry is a berry and a banana is a berry, uh, then a tomato is a berry. A tomato is a vegetable. I don't care what you have to say. Vegetable, uh, I learned, can be used for anything. A fruit can be a vegetable. It's just a classification. A very general, general classification. But if we want to get specific about it, it's probably a berry. Which makes no sense. I don't get it. Are grapes berries? Because they, they don't grow on a bush. In a bush. On a bush? They don't grow on a bush. They grow on vines. What else grows on vines? Watermelon. Watermelon squash. So is a watermelon a squash? Okay. I'm just going to eat my food. I'm thinking too much. I'm going to find something to watch. Hello. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight, we'll be making a version of et etouffee. Etouffee, etouffee, however you pronounce it, I don't know but it should be tasty. I say a version of because simply, hello kitty, I don't have all the ingredients. In here, I am, um, there's some stock in there. It, the stock I had was left over from, honestly, I don't even remember what it was left over from, but I'm making it and it came out like a jelly for some reason. So I'm just melting that down. This is the stock. You're gonna want like a chicken. This is a chicken and sausage um, etouffee. Uh, you can use shrimp if you want to use shrimp, or you can use just chicken or just sausage or whatever meat you prefer, just not beef. Um, so I've got chicken. I'm cubing the chicken right now, and I've got sausage. My chicken is not 100% cooked. Hello, kitty. Not 100%, see? It's what stupid people would call medium rare. Medium rare chicken is not a thing, okay? Okay, so I'm cubing it, you know, making it bite size. Miss Party, I am busy. I make it bite size and I got my sausage um, cut up like that. So then we also require two onions. I have one onion here, and then I have the bag of uh, the seasoned blend, which has onion, bell pepper, red and green bell pepper, celery, onion, and parsley flakes. So this has the, all the veggies that I require, plus an extra onion because there's a lot of onion in it for whatever reason. Okay, so we get your stock, your meat, and your veggies, and we're going to combine them all together. And normally that is combined, it's put on top of rice. We don't have any rice. It is still light out. Maybe I could go get some rice unless he parked in the... Where did he park? Let me find out. He parked in the driveway. I don't want him to, I don't want to move the car. So, let me finish cubing up my chicken. And then my stock should be ready to go. Okay. So, once you've got your meat all cut up, you just put your stock, your meat, your veggies, and your spices all in the pot. It's gonna just sit there for a while. 
since it's got to sit there and simmer for a while. I still got to add some more spices to it, but I got to look that up. Um, since it's got to sit there and simmer for a while, I am going to go across the street and get a bag of rice. So, I'll be back. Okay. I am back. I um, need some garlic powder. Um, what I do, I put the, so here's what it looks like. So about pretty much the same. That's a stick of butter. Well, half a stick. It's half a stick of butter. I'm going to melt that in there. There's some debate amongst food people whether or not a roux belongs in etouffee. Etouffee, etouffee, I really don't know how it's pronounced. Alexa pronounces it etouffee. I've heard it pronounced etouffee. I don't know. Anyway, let me put you over here. So... Um, I'm going to put, not a roux, but I'm going to put flour in it, and I guess that would make a roux, then, wouldn't it? I don't know where to put you. Let's just put you down here. So here we go. This is obviously not flour. It's some garlic powder. Put that in there. Why not garlic salt? Because I put the Tony's in there, and that's got salt in it. The Tony Chasheries, Chasheries, Tony Shash. Pigeon seasoning. So I put that in there. Alright, and then I'm gonna put in some, like a couple of tablespoons of flour, and then we'll see where the, we're at from there. phone is on 5% battery. I'm going to plug it in, but I will show you what my etouffee-ish looks like. Alright, I'm plugged into the wall. It looks similar, except it's in a bowl. It looks similar, and there's no trim this time. But again, it looks similar. Let me cool this down a little bit. Or give it a good old test, taste test. All right, here's a bite with just chicken. Oh, this bowl is hot. See, just the chicken with some rice. Mmm. Mmm. Is it like? Oh, good, like back in New Orleans? No, but it's good. Let's try the saucy one. We'll do it without the roux. Make it more soupy. Because I don't I don't think it requires a roux. Yeah. But it's still very tasty. Alright, so some time ago, and by some time ago I mean a long time ago, even before um long before Game of Thrones came on TV. Um, there is a show called Vikings, and they used to show it on the History Channel or some channel similar to that, but it wasn't that. And then that channel went bye-bye. It was no longer on TV. I'm just throwing a cap for outside. It was no longer on TV, so I couldn't watch it. The channel didn't go bye-bye. The show went to a network that we didn't have. So I couldn't watch it anymore. But guess what? 
it's on Peacock. So, now I can watch Vikings again. Right, Kitty? I can watch Vikings? We got a lot of fur off here today. Uh, get this off us. All right, all right. Okay, so it's bedtime. I'm gonna take this water upstairs. Russ has decided he wants to save his Gatorade bottles to make waters with and stuff. Anywho, so time for bed. So tomorrow is Thursday. I hope you had a great day today and that you will have an even better tomorrow. Have a great night. Toodles.